all call signs are pointing towards Aiden Ross coming back to Twitch after the things that we know right now where he kind of seems like he completely dissolved that whole relationship over there and now he's trying to make amends coming back to Twitch as well as selling his own shares within the company. Sometime last night he tweeted out, I will be making a full video on why I'm leaving Kick indefinitely. I'm stepping down officially and I will be going into detail about this. This week, I will tell you all everything. With that being said, I'm going to fully focus on being reinstated on Twitch. Thank you. Now, even though that is something I think is a steep mountain for him to climb, considering all the things he said about Twitch done and took a big old bag up at kick. And with certain things he said about certain notable streamers on Twitch, it's not something I would view as impossible for him to do but something that is a daunting challenge nonetheless. I'm making a full video on why I'm leaving Kick indefinitely. I'm stepping down officially and I'll be going into detail about this this week. I will tell you everything. That being said, I'm going to fully focus on being reinstated on Twitch. Thank you. Whoa. I don't think Twitch even fucking said that he could. Because I am Twitch and... I have all the say in the world about who gets to get unbanned or not because I'm in Dan Clancy's pocket and without me, nothing gets by. And he is not allowed on Twitch. Aiden Ross, let me tell you something, bro. You are banned off Twitch, man. You are fucking banned. Sorry to tell you, bro. You are banned. Go suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick. Suck a dick, suck a huge or small. I don't know who Miskip thinks he is, but if he realistically thinks that Twitch is going to bypass the opportunity to bring back Aiden Ross, one of the most prolific streamers that he paved the way for some of the streamers you see today, you're crazy. Like he makes, he made Twitch millions of dollars. Now, granted, he got banned doing his own goofy shit. So that is his cross to bear. You think Twitch is going to listen to you? Over Aiden Ross? Are you crazy? They already look at him as a cash cow. Like, imagine the money that Twitch will make his first stream back on Twitch. It would do record-breaking numbers. It would make them huge amounts of profits. Aiden Ross has a lot of apologies to dish out to people. I still think the writing is on the wall for him to come back at Twitch. Even though it kind of would be viewed as a little odd, like you made yourself into a brand risk and now you want to be unbrand risky when you realize that maybe the grass wasn't as green as I thought it was on the other side, no pun intended. Now, this does come off the heels of Kasanat winning best collab stream with him, Drewski, and Kevin Hart, which I've done told people multiple times that he was going to win that. And people thought, oh, no way he's going to win it. Like Aiden Ross, Trump stream was one of the biggest of the year. And when he don't win it, it's some type of axe they got to grind against Aiden. Well, how did we get here? Aiden did that to himself. The only reason why he didn't win that award is because of everything that he's done up to this point. When you make yourself out to be somebody who is a brand risk, then you have to take what comes with it. And I'm pretty sure there is a good portion of people that started watching Aiden that liked his, oh, I don't give a fuck attitude. And they're probably going to look at him now and be like, wait, now you want to go back to him? And they're probably going to say, oh, he's a bootlicker. He's a corporate shill, whatever the fuck. But nevertheless, it's not really going to matter in the grand scheme of things. And honestly, I do think this might be the end of kick. Y'all had a cute little run. You signed Aiden Ross. You signed your rage. You signed Bruce drop him off. And guess what? Two of the three are back on Twitch with most likely Aiden Ross coming back no time soon. And best believe, I think this is going to be a major blow to the company of kick. And I don't know what they can do other than just remain in this uh secondary content creation limbo where they'll probably fade into obscurity now that the big three have gone and left the company but all in all it does make you wonder imagine if aiden ross never became a brand risk and he never got permabanned on twitch he probably would all he'd have to do is just boot up a camera and be live on twitch or make some type of special announcement on twitter hype people up get people invested in boom but alas things didn't turn out that way and here we are he has to right the wrongs and absolve himself of the sins that he done did along the way to get here 
But with that being said, y'all, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.